In this edition of the Double Eagle Golf Podcast on www.michigangolfscene.com, we're going to be talking to Tom Gillis of Lake Orion, Michigan. We're also going to talk to Lee Jansen and another player that we're going to kind of surprise you on in just a little bit. Please stay tuned because we have an awesome show coming up for you over the next 15 minutes. With me, Lee Jansen of the Champions Tour. Uh, Lee, would you make a ton of putts out there? You went low today. Um, I did not make a ton of putts. I wish I had um, because I had an opportunity to shoot a super low score, but 67 is still a good score, and I made two nice putts on 16 and 18 in the uh, six, seven-foot range. So that's a good way to end the round after after I had a handful of misses in a row um, on the back nine. So 67 is still a good score. Yeah, it sure is. Taking a look, Callaway's, um, you play Callaway's. Now, Jim Furyk said a few years ago that you guys are still hitting the ball in many cases as far as you used to because of the equipment. Do you kind of second that? Um, well, if you go to 1995, I hit it further now than I did then, but I've lost a little bit of yardage. Uh, my last full year on tour, I averaged 290-ish, and I'm down around 280, so I've lost a little bit. My, my irons go about the same distance. So, but I'd like to hit it further. I mean, who doesn't want to hit it further, right? Well, we all do. We're always uh, going for that extra five yards that we see on TV every Sunday, that's for sure. How about 20? Thank you. You're greedy like I am. We could probably hang out at the poker table for sure. Uh, You know, as far as the 20, go ahead. Are you a good liar? I mean, you want to play poker? I don't know. I can lie pretty good. You can lie pretty good? Well, you know what? Forget about playing golf. Let's run for office. All right. (laughs) We're just kidding. But uh, moving along, though, uh, at the 2022 season, do you, do you like to have a, a schedule where you're playing every week or do you got to play two, three weeks and take a week off? How do you like to do it? Um, well, I had just had a month off because I didn't go over and play the senior British or go to Canada. Um, that gives me a nice time to re, uh, rejuvenate for the rest of the year, re-energize. But I, I play a pretty full schedule, pretty much play them all. Mm-hmm. So yeah. 25 or so. Yeah. Final uh, final question, we'll make this a Warwick Hills type question. You love playing here. You play pretty much every year during the Buick Open era and now. Is it uh, any new twist besides the fact that it's an old-fashioned golf course with great greens? Anything else you can say? Right. We, we know what to expect when we get here. Uh, the course is generally the same every single year. They made some modifications over the years, uh, 12 and 14 most recently, adding some bunkers, which I think makes them more of a layup hole. Um, so there's not as much excitement. Yeah. Um, I like it when there's a risk reward, but um, it's still a good test for us, and you got to play really well to win out here. Uh, all the guys that you have to beat are pretty good players, um, especially you got to make putts under pressure, which is pretty amazing at our age. Yeah, it sure is. Lee, I said three, Thanks. four minutes. I think I kept it that way. We found out politics is our real true calling right. from one liar to another. Thank you, Lee. All right. This is for every girl who's ever been laughed at or told she doesn't belong. This is for every girl who's been told she's too loud, too quiet, too this or too that. This is for every girl who thinks her body isn't good enough. This is for every girl who feels she doesn't fit in. This is for every girl who's been told that success and kindness are two different things. This is for every girl who's been told to give up. This is us crushing it for you. So you can crush it for the next girl. With me, PGA uh, Tour Legends Champion, Corey Pavin. Corey, um, it's always a great experience coming out here to Warwick. Yeah, I I love coming here. Obviously, I've been here a lot uh, over the years on the regular tour. So, you know, it's a a really wonderful tournament. and Ally's done a great job. And... It's fun to come back to the golf course and the people here, the community really support it. So it's really a fun event. 17 is obviously the party hole, but what is it like playing? Because that green is not a piece of cake, even though these greens are all real true. No, it's not. Um, it was okay today because I had an eight iron up there about eight feet and made it for birdie. So it was fine. Um, but it's it's a fun hole. You know, it's gotten bigger and bigger. They keep building it out. So it's, it's kind of a fun hole to play and it's a real fun hole to perform well on. You've uh, won on this tour. You, what, what are your plans in the future? You're going to keep playing the same schedule you have. You think you got some more wins in the out here? I sure hope I do. You know, I'm, I'm playing because I feel like I can compete and, and have a chance to win. So, when I get to the point where I feel like I can't 
play well enough to win, then I, I'll probably disappear. Yeah, I understand. And one final question has to do with your hat. I saw you about a month, maybe six weeks ago, out at uh, Midland Dow, yep. and you do a lot of work out there, although I'm not sure what with the ladies. What is what is kind of your role? You're like a player coach, agent? Uh, how do, what do you do out there? Well, I'm an ambassador for Dow, uh, so I've been with Dow for 13 years. Uh, so every year they've had the tournament, I've been there. Uh, just kind of do corporate visits, you know, at each tent and just hang around and shake hands and tell stories and entertain the people. Uh, you know, Dow's been a wonderful company to be with and uh, I've enjoyed every year and uh, hopefully that will continue on for many more years. But it's a great company. They do a lot of really good things for certainly for this area and this community, but they do a lot for other places as well. Sure. As a, kind of a wrap-up comment as I finish up, it's always great when you get to do things for your sponsors. You do have that relationship because it does help with the bills. But on top of that, if you like your mission, that really pays off for everybody involved. It does. You know, Dow, Dow's pretty pretty vocal with uh, how they go about things and what, what changes they want to make, you know, socially as well as, uh, you know, with recycling, sustainability, things like that. So it aligns with the way I think, which makes it very easy. And uh, it's as again, it's a really wonderful company to be associated with. Thank you, Corey. She has a couple for you. Other. On with me, Y. E. Yang. Tell you what, uh, what was your final takeaway from the uh, Ally Challenge this week? Ally Challenge. Uh, golf course is so good. Green good. I play bad. <laughs> well, you know what though, I, for for you you play bad, but trust me, you you crushed a drive on that hole. That had to have been 350 plus. I mean, you were uh, firing out there even into the last hole. Yeah, uh, but yeah, last a good driver, but make par. But uh, this week, uh, I think as my condition is not so good, and then play not well. Yeah. What do you think is uh, for your 2022 season? It's probably not been your best year on tour. What, what do you think has been, you know, the key to where you're at this year? Uh, I think people have many to experience, but Champions Tour, the first year, I think a little more experience. I think next year is hopefully better. I'm sure it will be. Now, I got a question. You hit your, what, your second shot on the edge of the green, almost in the trap. You were on the edge. Instead of putting it, you decided to go with, like, a, a gap wedge there. Why Why did you? I'm just I'm just curious on why you guys do what you do. Uh, I sh uh, hit the 59 sand wedge, but frangy, uh, first frangy's uh, grass has come here, but putting is distance a little bit difficult to control but is I wanted to up uh, landing to in the straight green and then maybe have the chance I tried to 659 yeah. right. well anyway you still had a birdie on the hole uh, as far as uh, what's gonna final question is what's gonna happen in the rest of the uh, champions tour this year what are your goals uh, the season uh, now is so so but uh, after Maybe maybe eight nine tournament. I think try more is more stronger. I think yeah. it's good. Well, let me follow up with one quick thing. Do you feel like you got to play almost every week to keep yourself at uh, you know peak uh, you know peak playing condition, or do you like to go home and practice and take a week off and mentally recharge? Yeah, every uh, not straight every week. In mm -hmm. but tournament is three four weeks after one week maybe two weeks off. That's a good schedule, and then after more and practice and coming to more, it's better. So, so you're like a three or four on, one or two off, and it, during that, are you doing mental like recondition, or are you just working on parts of your game that you feel like could be just a little bit better? Hopefully, maybe. Think so. Right. Yeah. Ye, thanks you for giving me a few minutes. I'm gonna look forward to watching you on the Champions Tour because anybody can hit the ball like that. <laughs> He's the man. Yeah. Okay. Thank, thank, thank you. you so much. You yeah. Got, thank thanks. you. This is for every girl who's ever been laughed at or told she doesn't belong. This is for every girl who's been told she's too loud, too quiet, too this or too that. This is for every girl who thinks her body isn't good enough. This is for every girl who feels she doesn't fit in. 
This is for every girl who's been told that success and kindness are two different things. This is for every girl who's been told to give up. This is us crushing it for you. So you can crush it for the next girl. For the Golf Scene and the Double Eagle Golf Podcast, this is Corey J.